Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today is a super, super special day because today we have our first look at the Forza Horizon 5 map. That is not all though. We also have this brand new gameplay featuring the 2020 Toyota Supra. So today's video is gonna be super, super cool as we jump into three more biomes for Forza Horizon 5. I'll tell you a little bit about the Toyota Supra and some things you may not have known involving some customization. And then we'll do a deep dive into the Forza Horizon 5 map and I'll point out all of the cool places and some things you may not have noticed. So sit back and relax. This is gonna be a super cool one. Real quick though, before we do get into today's video, I did want to let you guys know in two weeks is Gamescom and Forza will be there with some brand new Forza Horizon 5 gameplay that we haven't seen before just yet, showcasing some new areas of the map and so on. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Without further ado, do let's jump into the 2020 Toyota Supra and start it off with some Supra customization. It's also worth noting that the gameplay you're seeing right now is from an early build of Forza Horizon 5 where not everything's finished so you might notice as we're scrolling through some of the options some of those options might not actually have a logo associated with them. It's just a glitch. It'll be fixed when the full game comes out. Anyways, though, so this Toyota Supra has two really cool upgrade presets for it. Number one, a Toyota Supra Heritage upgrade pack that you can sort of apply to your car to make it look like the old famous Supra or maybe let's just say subtle isn't so much in your vocabulary and you want to toss on the biggest wide body you can well this is the kit for you the hks wide body supra what i actually find interesting though is street hunter who makes wide body kits and they make wide body kits that are in forza horizon 5 and they make a wide body kit for the toyota supra it's not actually in this version of the game. It might be in the full version, but for right now, we don't actually know. Anyways, if you've been watching my Forza Horizon 5 videos for a while, you may remember back in June, I said that there are hundreds of new rims in Forza Horizon 5. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get too close to look at all of them. However, you will notice as we're scrolling through all of the rims, some of them won't actually have a logo again associated with them. Those are all of the new rims in the game. This is only one of the four categories, so there's a lot of new rims in this game. Over a hundred. Anyways, though, I'm super excited to jump into the Super when Forza Horizon 5 comes out. And good news, or not so good news, depending on which way you like this game, every player will actually be gifted the 2020 Toyota Supra as soon as they start up the game. So if you want to go through, play with this awesome wide body kit, you'll be able to do it as soon as you jump in to Forza Horizon 5, which is which is pretty cool. Anyways, though, why don't we jump into the Forza Horizon 5 world? We've got a little bit of race gameplay you'll notice using the Mitsubishi Evo and some free roam gameplay using that Toyota Supra. Something to keep in mind though as we're going around the map, this map is 1.5 times bigger than the Forza Horizon 4 map and you'll see that. And yes, there are a bunch of other cars in this race as well as we've been driving around. We continue to update our Forza Horizon 5 car list every time that there's a new car in some gameplay, the screenshots, and so on. So if you do want to check out our unofficial car list with every car we've seen so far, click the link in my description and you can check that out for yourself. Anyways though, as we've been driving around, you've been seeing more of the Forza Horizon 5 map, so... Why don't I just show you the map? Here it is. This is the Forza Horizon 5 map reveal. Feel free to pause, take a look at it for yourself. There's a bunch of little details in here that I'm sure you guys will recognize. I'm gonna jump in and showcase everything on the map in one second. Before we get into that though, I did wanna take a look at the areas of the map that we've been driving around so far. The rocky coast, the sand desert, and the living desert. All three of these areas are actually on the western side 
side of the map all along that western coast of Mexico. So let's start it off with the rocky coast in Forza Horizon 5. Is anybody else getting some Forza Horizon 3 flashbacks from the coast in that game with all of these massive rocks sticking straight out of the water? This is actually a really awesome looking area of the map and I'm really crossing fingers that we're gonna be able to go head to head in some off-road drag races down on the beach here. If you actually go off the beach though and inland a little bit, you'll actually arrive at this massive golf course where you'll be able to play tag, king, infected, and so on. Side note at the golf course, does anybody know what these two yellow circles are that you can actually see on the map? I have no idea what these actually are, but they're on the map, so... If anybody has any ideas, let me know. If you head north from the rocky coast, you will eventually arrive at the sand desert, which is where these massive sand dunes are, and the perfect place to test your Baja off-road truck. There aren't really many roads in the sand desert, but do you really need roads if you're in a big Baja truck? Probably not. On a personal note, I was really missing an area like this in Forza Horizon 4, so I'm glad we have some sand dunes back for Horizon 5. Also featured just north of the sand dunes is actually this. You can see it on the map. This awesome little, it almost feels like a motocross circuit with all of the twists and tight turns in here. It's really cool. I'm gonna dub this Mexican Mud Kickers, which is a cool name for it. Really cool area. If you leave the sand desert and the sand dunes and you head east, you will arrive at the Living Desert, which is this awesome looking desert with cactuses, a bunch of wildlife, and so on. This is also the home of the Horizon Festival, or I should say, one of the Horizon Festival. The developers actually confirmed just today that there is not one, not two, but six Horizon Festivals in this game, which is mind-blowing. I'll have more details for those soon. So those are three of the biomes in this game. I'm super excited to jump into them, but what I'm more excited to showcase is this, the full Forza Horizon 5 map, and jump into some of the details that you might not have noticed. For example, there is not one, not two, but three three drag strips slash airports in Forza Horizon 5, which is insane. One of those drag strips is actually in the living desert. It's actually built into the Horizon Festival. That's an abandoned airport that actually has a racetrack built around it. South of the Horizon Festival is this drag strip, which actually looks a lot bigger than that other one. This one looks like a big proper airport, almost like a half mile or maybe three quarters of a mile drag strip. We will have to see though. Look really really cool and then if we leave the jungle drag strip and we head northeast to the third and final drag strip I am not even joking this one is at a Mayan temple yes you will be able to drag race your favorite cars around the Mayan temples which is really cool it might actually be an off-road drag strip but the the map says it's an on-road drag strip so I don't really know, we'll have to wait and see. On the topic of Mayan temples, take a look at how many of them there are scattered around the entire map. It's truly unbelievable. Not just how many of them there are, but the diversity between them. There's massive ones, super teeny tiny ones. It's really cool, actually. You've probably already noticed, though, this massive highway that goes from corner to corner, unlike any highway we have ever had before, because it's basically arrow straight, a perfect area to test the top speed of our cars. Thank you so much, developers. You probably also noticed just north of the highway is this massive area, this huge circle. That is the stadium in Horizon 5, where you're gonna be able to place all of your stunt stuff and build out some crazy race circuit. You might have also noticed that we actually have three different cities in Forza Horizon 5. Number one, we have Guanajuato, all the way the northern part of the map. This is the big city for Forza Horizon 5, and based off the scale of the map, it looks enormous. But almost more importantly than that is just how dense all of the roads are. It looks so sick. If you head off to the eastern coast, you have this tiny little city, which again, we have some gameplay of. That's this little city in the tropical coast looks awesome. And if you head back to the jungle drag strip and you look north, 
there's actually another city here. We don't have any gameplay of this one just yet, but again, looks pretty cool. And last but not least, you've probably also noticed the enormous volcano. It is seriously way, way bigger than I expected. What's almost cooler than the volcano, though, is some of the driving roads. We already know one of the roads going up to it is a tarmac-like drift zone that goes all the way up. And the other side of the volcano is actually a dirt path that goes all the way down. Again, super cool stuff. On the topic of roads, Forza Horizon 5's map actually features a little bit of everything, honestly. All the way to the northern part of the map, we have some awesome switchback roads where you're gonna be able to drift all the way down. In the middle of the map, we've got these twisty roads that navigate through some of the farmland. That's gonna be super fun for racing. On the western side of the map, you've got some high speed sections for some more fun racing there. And at the northernmost part of the map, you have these crazy canyon roads where you're gonna be able to top speed your car again. Seriously though, this map, based off what we've seen today, looks absolutely fantastic. A little bit of something for everybody, if you ask me. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of the map is, and if you have any questions for the developers, I'll do my best to ask them shortly. Shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am more pumped for Forza Horizon 5 than ever, especially with that 2020 Toyota Super. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed and be on the lookout for some more Forza Horizon 5 gameplay soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.